It's meant to test them on skills. We basically um, test them on information gathering skills and management and monitoring kind of strategies and follow-up strategies with patients. Um, we also test their communication skills. We want to be sure that they're able to communicate in a professional way with patients, that they um, engage in active listening and they exhibit an, uh, a caring manner towards patients and that they act in a professional way. The OSCEs are more specific to what we've been learning in CAP that same semester and we'll have checklists that are very specific as to each thing we need to ask the patient. Sometimes it's a particular order. The milestones are more cumulative of everything that we've learned so far and there's no direct checklist. It's just, are you communicating well with the patient? Do you make the right recommendations? So currently, the P2s who take the milestone do it for practice, and they get feedback on it, and they get to see what the exam is, is going to be like the next year and um, before, before they take it in, in a high-stakes manner. It's a little bit stressful, but they've made it clear to us that it's a minimal competency, as Dr. McDonough put it. So basically, if we have the skills to get us this far, we should be able to pass it with no problem. It's more realistic, and so I think it's better for us to experience those real life situations before we actually have to, before they throw us out in the real world and we really have to handle patients. These actors get as real life as they possibly can and I've seen actors come in that are mad, frustrated, in a hurry and I've seen pe real patients like that in the community setting so they really do act like real people. I think the word angry might be a bit strong but, but upset, yes, and, and we ask questions because they'll use some, some big pharmaceutical words and we'll say well what does that mean and uh, those sorts of things to help them. I think it helps. This is a very stressful situation, even though in real life I don't feel as stressed when communicating with a patient, but it does help us because on our test there's no one standing in front of us needing the answer right then. We're able to just bubble in the questions, and in real life that's not how it'll be. So this is more of a real life simulation. We try and be as real world as possible because these, these young people are, are born in a classroom setting and then they haven't really uh, been out in the real world, so to speak, and they're going to be there sooner or later. So we try and make it as real world as we can.